this organization drafted me here eight years ago to have opportunity to help bring this here. AD99 showing up in Super Bowl 56. Big time players make big time plays in big time games. Aaron Donald got there, the greatest of all time on defense, does it in the biggest moment of Super Bowl 56. Finally, mission complete. Oh man, it's the end of an era. Rams defensive tackle Aaron Donald, one of the most feared defenders of his generation, announcing his retirement today. 32 years old, played 10 seasons, was an All-Pro eight times, defensive player of the year three times, won a Super Bowl, all with the Rams, and then spoke about why he decided he was going to walk away. We take a look here. He's one of two players in NFL history to win defensive rookie of the year, win multiple Defensive Player of the Year awards, be named to at least five first-team All-Pro selections, and win a Super Bowl. You know the only person that did that, Kevo? Mm. Lawrence Taylor. You yeah. ever heard of that guy? Yeah, He's company. a Hall of Famer. Certainly so is Aaron Donald. As we take a look back at some of his most memorable moments, and certainly if you've been on any of the social medias today, you've seen some of these. In 2018, Donald sacks Nick Mullins. That sack was number 20 and a half. Okay, the most in a season for his career, most by a primary defensive tackle in a season since 1982. Then we go to week one this past season. Rams taking on the Seahawks, gets the pressure on Geno, who throws the incomplete pass, but the moment here isn't on the stat sheet. You've got to take a listen to this. Oh my God. <laughs> That's literally everybody. Yeah, exactly. It was just like, oh my God, you don't want that guy running at you. Let me tell you what, 99 scary. And we end with this most iconic moment of his career, Super Bowl 56. Rams have a three-point lead on fourth and one. Donald gets Joe Burrow, swings him around. The pass, of course, mm -hmm. incomplete. He seals the Super Bowl with that play, and you see him pointing at that finger. That would be his only Super Bowl of his career. As we officially say hello to our ESPN senior writer, Bill Barnwell, who joins us now for his perspective on Aaron Donald's retirement and career. I mean, I don't know, Bill, when it comes to that impressive career, what to you just stands out the most about Aaron Donald's legacy? I would say the consistency for Aaron Donald. He was just, from the moment he got onto the field as a rookie, he was dominant, and he dominated straight through till the end of his career. 10 seasons for Aaron Donald. He makes 10 consecutive Pro Bowls. That is so hard to do. Only the sixth player in the history of the National Football League to pull that off. And the guys we're talking about in this class, it's Lawrence Taylor, who you just mentioned a minute ago. It's Barry Sanders, it's Joe Thomas. We're talking about transcendent players at their respective positions. Some of the best ever to do it at any position in the league. They're all first ballot, the inner circle, Hall of Famers. Aaron Donald is that guy as well. He accomplished everything you might want and had to tackle to do not just swung that final play of the Super Bowl, but the entire second half of that mm -hmm. Super Bowl helped fuel a Rams comeback by dominating that game and taking over just a, a guy who made other NFL players look like they'd barely played football before. That's the kind of talent Aaron Donald was. Yeah, I said this when Nick Saban retired, that one of the best compliments people can pay you is just by, like, praising the Lord when you move on. And mm. there are 31 other quarterbacks <laughs> going, thank God Aaron Donald is moving on. Bill, hang tight because Kevin's got some breaking news for us. Yeah, after signing.